know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where are we at? Oh, the do not disturb. Oh, uh, my phone is almost dead. That works. Oh, All I'm right. chatting to myself. Okay. And I'm good as long as I don't leave, uh, l lose uh, power. Oh, yes. Power. As long as. Oh, shoot. Am I in the wrong orientation? Yes, you are. Your hand oh. is coming in from the side. <laughs> I just realized. That's there all right. Go. I got it this time. Woohoo! Greetings, yeah. everyone. If you're pot just popping in, go ahead and fast forward to something you're like. If well, that's if you're watching the replay. If you're not, <laughs> you gotta hang out until I do some stuff. I gotta share it to the Facebook group chat with Sassy's Crafty Friends because uh, between YouTube and Facebook, hopefully you'll get a notification. All right. Oh. Uh... All right. But uh, yeah, so there's that. And I'm giving myself a thumbs up because I'm awesome that way. And look, there's Miss <laughs> Pam already in the chatty chat. Hello, and I Pam. the live chat. Today we are here with Dawn and Deborah. Da, 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 da. Judy. Well, hello, lovely lady. Miss Judy's been having some fun. I've been scoping her and her friends out on <laughs> Facebook. They've been traveling and doing some stuff. Okay, so um, whose idea was this? Her. Dawn. <laughs> Dawn. Yes. <laughs> what are we doing today? <laughs> we are going to solve the problem of having to put little clips in our planners that end up not working eventually because of flipping through and not having a good fit. So we're going to make bookmarks for our planners that will work for your planner from beginning to end. And then when you finish your planner and move to a new one, you could possibly use it for the next one also. So it's indisposable. Awesome sauce. I think that's it. So that's we have it. Dawn in the chat as well as on screen. That is the same Dawn. <laughs> Linda, hello, hello. Cordelia, how are you lovely ladies? So my project, I'm also doing a bookmark. I'm going to do um, glitter and laminator. So we can lock that glitter in. So yeah, <laughs> we're going to see lots of glitter on my page. But uh, I'm using this yucky vinyl sticker paper I bought. Okay, and I can compare it now to StarCraft um, vinyl sticker paper. And yes, this is yucky. Even in the unprotected state, which mind you, they don't tell you you need to protect it after you print it says it's for inkjet printers it's glossy white and waterproof which it is not but um yeah we found out that uh it holds glitter so that's what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna glitter up this stuff i don't like and make some bookmarks with it awesome but pam see i i was I'm hoping you'll see this and be like, oh, thank you. She's making the mess here, you know, and <laughs> not at your place. And we're going to lock it in so it can't get away. And we're, I'm going to set it up so that I don't have a lot of cleanup. I'm just going to do it so that um, I can just scoop the whole thing into the garbage. So let me get my up here so my bookmark is not going to include glitter but what we're going to do is do some felting because i'm going to felt a little flower 
and I am using ribbon and a hair tie to make a wraparound <clears throat> bookmark. And I'm using toner sheets. I'm gonna uh, use, this is mint. This is um, Heidi Swaps. I better make sure this is for heat. Aren't they all? This doesn't tell me. Oh, you use with, use with mink, mink foil applicator. Yeah, so that's mink. You need um, an adhesive oh, to hold it. It says like reactive, mint reactive foil. So I can use it on this. Yes, toner reactive paper. Absolutely. Great. Good to go. Excellent. Okay, I want to ask you, oh, these ones are heat activated transfer sheets. Okay, those are toner pages. All you gotta do is put your foil on it and run it through your laminator. And those are full sheets and those are meant, so like your stripity ones. Yeah. Okay, if you do the stripity one first, there's gonna be foil left on your your foil, okay? Yeah, oh, okay. And then, and then you then use the leftovers on that, and then where it's still black, you yeah. can put another foil on and send it through, and that's what they call double foiling, because okay. you used a foil, there's still some area left, and then you foil again. Okay. Okay. Oh, the reason I got, oh, no, I only got two of the candy, though. Well, two pieces. But this is not going to look right. I have four, four pieces in here. And I guess I'll use it anyway. I got these for my, um, my, my binders. I got them for my binders for dividers. Because I was going to do the same thing. Just foil it, put my tab on it, my holes, and stick it in the binder for dividers. Yeah. Make my own. Okay, this thing is ready. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I've got I'm not some... either. I've got some old window plastic down, you know, when we plastic our windows in the winter, I save it for something like this. And then I've got my sticker paper and I've already kind of started making a stripe. So I'm just gonna finish making a stripe, which means I'm only gonna uncover so much, peel that back like so. And since I started with yellow, let's, Let's see. Um, put that there so you can see what I'm doing. Make sure you guys can see. And let's do. So I'm playing with wool. Not, uh, there's different things that you can felt. <clears throat> I am using a white, and I couldn't tell you the type of sheep that this came from because I don't have any of the labels anymore. I'm feeling and thinking it's like a merino wool or something, but I can't tell. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. I would <laughs> <never> like <laughs> investigated woolly wools well there's different stuff this is completely different obviously it's a black sheep <laughs> <laughs> baba black sheep have you any wool 
This is a mohair, which is goat. Goat. <laughs> right. This is a little different. Goats are creepy. Yeah. Their eyes. Like, well, the hair is creepy on it. It's kind of creepy. But that's mohair. Mohair, not less hair. <laughs> mohair. And then you have what I showed you guys earlier. I have the Angora, which is super soft and silky. Angora. Yeah. Angora geese. Which is nice. This is like the hardest if you're going to spin. This is like the hardest to spin, too, because it's so fine. You really have to have a long staple, which is like the length of the, the cut. Like how long the fur is. Yeah. So this is like a two or three inch staple, which is good. He was a fuzzy rabbit for sure. Fuzzy wuzzy wuzzy. <laughs> he was. He was. He, he was very fuzzy. <laughs> oh, now I got mohair all over my uh, all over my wool, but it won't hurt it. I love goats. I love goats. Yeah. They're creepy. They're creepy. <laughs> yeah, they're creepy. Hello, T and Maureen and Crystal's creation and Ms. Vay. So I have these um, little needles. Um, Linda is what listening while she's cooking some dinner and. Nice. She, says she bought some roving from Hobby Lobby a few years ago and it's full of bugs. Ew. Oh, that's not good. Who bought that? Kim? A uh, tea. Oh, tea. Really? Oh, yuck. Well, I, I get it from my friend, my my farming friends, like my livestock friends. Um <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Crystal's dinner's about done. And Cordelia says goats are not creepy. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> That's because their eyes creep you out, you said. <laughs> yes. I mean, they, if I don't have to look at their eyeballs, you know, like the little baby <laughs> goat videos, those are cute and stuff, but I don't know. I'm supposed to go for, uh, to uh, goat yoga soon. <laughs> <laughs> what goat yoga? <laughs> goat yoga with William's sister. <laughs> you do Yoda, yo Yoda. Yeah. <laughs> you do Yoda. Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> I could never do Yoda. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's too short. <laughs> <laughs> Not that he's green and wrinkly. He's just too short. <laughs> Sorry. This is not a kid-friendly channel. FYI. Do not be watching. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, we have a farm here that um, they have, they hold yoga in this um, grassy, they take, a, it's a big grassy area outside of the farming area. <laughs> not in the middle of the pen <laughs> but anyway and they fence it up and they put the all the baby goats in there oh uh, and they do uh, yoga baby goats how am i cute. supposed to know which side to use um, right? if you kind of feel it the toner on there should be raised up slightly and also the backside will have be all glossy whereas the toner itself is not like glossy okay then it's this side thank you uh-huh pretty side up i remember that yep because all that glue is in the gray stuff and uh, da, 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 da. crystal used to have goats But they have Steve Bakusami eyes. What? Bushimi. Bushimi. Bushimi eyes. Who is Steve Bushimi and why does he have goat eyes? <laughs> Obviously, I said something. 
Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth, you cracked me up. <clears throat> okay, we're going to work the first time going through. We are. We are going to work. So felting is great for aggression. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Crazy My eyes for Mr. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Oh, yeah. it's gonna work. Oh, T saw goat yoga on a recent comedy. Yeah. <laughs> And someone asked me, like, how do you do yoga in a pen with a bunch of baby goats? I'm like, who really goes for the yoga? Come on. Right. Okay. Well, I like this plastic. This glitter is just, like, staying put. So that's nice. Mr. Simon Hurley. Hello, hello. Hi, Simon. Hello. Hello. Okay, so oh, we're you know what I should have tried, Elizabeth? I should have tried my um my distress sprays on the wool. I wonder how it works to dye. Ooh, that would be that fun. Cool. Yeah. Okay, I've gone yellow, yellow, orange, orange. What color should I do next? Golden -y orange. Or no, if we and do... if you just for anyone that's just trying, if anyone ever tries felt that hasn't felt it before, use the finger protectors. I felt it a lot, so I feel pretty confident where my needle goes. But if you get stabbed by these babies, they hurt. Just saying. Okay, we're getting we're getting the reveal. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. it didn't i got holes yeah t it probably would take long to dry um, you but could close it back up send Can it I back do? through upside down I or the opposite that. of what you did should i put it on a hotter setting i have it on three right now should i put it on five um are you yeah i would okay or just even four, because if it only left a few little holes, you might just need a little bit hotter. Well, uh, that's the only, well, actually, the settings are for thickness of page, so. Yeah, and what, yeah, you do need it hot because you're taking that toner that's on that page and you're heating it up. So that okay, it will it. melt into the gluey part of the foil. Okay. Tater tot casserole. Hi, Bethany. Um, a tea says would take so long to dry. Yeah. But if I just took some out, like out, you know, like not not I could do it beforehand, but like sometime before I'm gonna use it, just take some yeah. out. And, and uh bring it out to dry spray it and lay it out in the sun maybe uh okay i i don't know what color to do i don't really have step down for like the reds i've got like a copper color um got gold color because what i want to do is put some white oh i still have you on spotlight <laughs> with three people i can actually spotlight nice yeah so i want to do um ow like that see no stabbing yourself Don. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird to me that you stab it and it sticks together like okay. that is weird to me because these needles, these needle, these blah, 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 these needles have little tiny barbs on them, on the bottom, and the barbs are facing so that it it locks the fibers together. It's smooth pulling out, but it pushes it together when you go down, so it keeps it. So now, see, it's locked to this foam. Okay. 
and it won't come up until I peel it up. But I don't want to peel it up until I get my shape in. So it's just going to keep locking this together. This I could keep going and you can shape it just by moving your needle and pushing the wool a different way. You can pull it over and and push it in and it yeah. will stick. So are you making ears? I'm making flower petals. Flower. Oh, OK. So this is the finish. This is one of the other ones, but I'm not going to I. I probably can use this big one. I was going to try to make a smaller one. Yeah. Okay. And then T says, um, go see. That would be a good experiment, Don. Would also be a good test for the color in the dye. You know, yeah. do, do a little samples and see the colors. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Is this loud, Elizabeth? Um, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it, it's we, interesting, but it's not bothering me. So <laughs> if you guys are annoyed, I'm know. sorry, but it's interesting, and I'm uh, I'm happy to watch it. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't be watching. You should be making. Oh, I kind of am. <laughs> How can you do both? <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll do no. I think I'll do that. I'll do these three next. I'll do these. If yep, it turns right into felt if left in the sun. Sounds like goat eating. <laughs> John is feeding the goats. Oh <laughs> goats eating. It's hilarious. See my little, I won't show everyone my blood. <laughs> I am going to wash my hands though. Real quick. Did you? Huh? Never mind. Oh, I stabbed myself, remember? <laughs> I never stab myself when I'm poking forward. It's when I move around with a needle in my hand. <sighs> I forget it's not like a it's not like a stick that I can just pull it up and turn it around in my hand. <clears throat> Oh. I like this blend. Like, it's a really pretty blend. That is pretty. Is that pink? Um, no, they're oranges. Oranges. And then green? Uh, no, gold. I, oh, gold. <laughs> You know, uh, I'm trying to peek over the top of my phone to see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So there's Dark like yellow, tonight. orange, orange, and gold. Yeah. So it's yellow, a yellow, orange, a orange, and then a light gold. And then I'm going to go into an orange gold and then a bronze, I think. Nice. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Because we, Elizabeth and I do YouTube so often, and um, one time that I wasn't doing it, I was talking aloud, <laughs> and no one heard me. Um, <laughs> um so funny. Yeah. So this is just glitter I've been collecting over the years. You know, um, this particular bunch is out of a uh, recollections um, back in the day, Michael's sold like big packs. And so all of these, all of these bottles come in the same pack or did, I can't say that they still do, but they used to. But um, if you're a person like Ms. Pam that does not like glitter, do not buy this stuff. It is sticky. It likes to hang out for days and days. 
Um, I did set up a plastic so that um, all this glitter, I'm just gonna roll it up and throw it away. This is not something that um, you need to be frugal or stingy with because it lasts forever. I mean, I did a whole big row and there's still so much glitter in there. I've used this glitter for other stuff like these here doesn't even look like I used them. So don't be stingy. Go ahead and dust off and throw stuff away. What? Somebody had a tornado in New York? What? Really? Mr. Jim, hello. Ms. Debbie J, I answered your question, but didn't say hello. Oh, I think it was, he's talking about the Buffalo shooting, I think, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. There was tragedy, tragedy in New York this week. Janine, hello, hello. But they did have storms in New York, I believe. Oh, Janine said she, on the news... On the news, I just saw pictures of Prince Charles and one of the queen done with that material. Material? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, are you talking about somebody shaped them in wool? <laughs> Linda says, okay, Judy and Dave have dinner. I can speak now. Run, y'all! <laughs> mm. Oh, yep. Mass shooting. Dang the yep. people. Yep. I just know about it because William's from New York and I saw it on the news and when we're always things that come from places we're from, you kind of yeah. pick up on. Why are people so angry? I don't know. Uh, I know. I mean, it's if crazy. you're not happy, why bring other people into your mess? That I don't understand. Oh, look, I haven't even used this one. It's still got the paper in it. Oh, got mohair everywhere. Whoops. All right, so I did them all. They're pretty close to even, which is good. They don't need to be perfectly even because what in nature is perfect. Right. Except for nature itself. Apparently I have used that glitter because that is <laughs> a diamond dot <laughs> in ah. my glitter. That's too funny. I didn't realize how many diehard diamond daughters there are out there. Yeah, I have a project that I need to do. I keep looking at it all the time I sit down here because it's right next to me. Ms. Um, Jean sent me. Nice. But yeah. I have a big skull that I just finished. Yay, shiny. Ooh. Oh, now I can put this on that other seat. Oh, I'm getting out the other sheet. Oh, look at yours. It's fabulous. There's the full sheet. Really, Jen? Yeah, so their outfits were made of wool, Elizabeth, Janine said. That's cool. Okay, so I over burnished and forced the chunky part of the glitter out and so all that is sticking is like the holographic -y part so I'm just burnishing it all so it looks even that makes sense yeah so I was mentioning the uh <laughs> the felting and some other things to someone yesterday even though I can't remember who the heck it was but they were saying oh I just can't get caught up in another hobby and I said well I'm I'm not really getting caught up in another hobby I just have all of these hobbies from years of just collecting 
Yep. And what I'm doing is just trying to clean everything out and trying to incorporate it into one thing. So I want to like take all these things that I'm doing, my tatting sampler and the felting, just using up tons of DMC floss, tons of crochet cotton, tons of wool. <laughs> wow, you guys found something interesting. Ooh. So, you know, these glitters have this iridescent -y thing on it. But if you rub too hard, you rub the chunky part of the glitter out and just the iridescent part sits. Oh, I need to show you guys. You guys can't even see. Uh, so this here is no longer chunky. It's just the iridescent -y and it looks like it way you hold it, it looks like solid. It's weird. So it's just the mica bits that are left? I think so. Whatever oh. makes it the shiny, shiny part. But yeah, it's not sticky anymore. The, I mean, the stickery part of the paper is gone. But yeah, it just did some really cool stuff. It looks very metallic <laughs> in that right there. I mean, look at that. That's pretty. Yeah, it does look metallic. I like that. Okay, let's remove the spotlight. Go back to Deborah. I got bubbles. She got bubbles. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm smoothing it out, but they're still there. Have you run it through the laminator already? Yeah, this is the reverse piece. Okay. So this is um, the laminator the should flatten it back out. Yeah. Okay. I do. I have lots of mica. Yes. You do. That's what yes. I want to get. Mica. I bought it. Um, I bought the Artiza set, and let me tell you, that it. Uh, yeah. Glitter or mica for days because you don't need a bunch for right. anything, even when you're making um oh I don't know. What do you what do you do with mica? You can put it in your polymer <laughs> clay. You can rub it over your polymer resin. clay pieces. Yeah, I was putting it in resin, that's what it was. And you yeah, resin. don't need hardly any. Off there. Yikes. Okay. I'm not going for realism here, folks. So if I don't want to double double foil <laughs> and leave that exposed. That's okay. Right. You can leave the black areas exposed. Okay. Yeah. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. It'll stay like that forever. <clears throat> Put it in soap, resin. What is TCW? The Crafters, Crafters Workshop. Workshop. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, uh, the white version or the plain version of glitter paste or yeah, lack thereof glitter. I'm going to pull this right over to my edge here and I'm going to just sweep this right into the garbage. I'm going to get an old shirt that doesn't have any teeth. I'll Don't be right notice. back. I'm going to get a beverage. Well, you're supposed Thanks to for be the prepared warning. and have that, Missy. I know. <laughs> it will only take me a momento. Momento. Crash. Oh, there it is. I don't want to lose my other needle. That's all I need. Step on that. 
Okay. There we go. So we use a nice smooth cloth to clean all the glitter. Uh, Jim, my base for my felting. <laughs> Can anyone guess what this is? It's the packaging from a craft item. T. <laughs> you might know. It's actually from the Tim Holtz um, stamping platform. That's too funny. So it comes with the little handle on it, and and it had the foam in it <clears throat> that it's packaged with. And then I had a um, another piece of foam that came in something, and I just added another layer on the top. But these two layers came in it and then protected the glass, the stamping platform. Okay, so I've run through four times, switching it each time. Now let's see, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'd save my packaging for from everything because you just never know. And um, I had this, and then my daughter wanted to get into felting, and it, and I saw the little foam pieces that come with the little felting kits that you get. And I thought, oh, I have a, I have some packaging that has that in it, so it works perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. And it's styrofoam, not just normal foam. Right. It's like that plasticky. Um, it's not like styrofoam, like the stuff that I did that flower soft in. Right. It's not the crumbly stuff. It's it's like fused. See how it's got layers? It's uh, like no, because we're on <laughs> Deborah. On De Deborah again. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. So it has these layers. Like this one is like three layers of, of it. That's kind of glued together. But it's like a, I don't know. It's not styrofoam. It bends and stuff. Yeah. It's that kind of foam. It's like a pool noodle foam. You could use a pool noodle, I bet. That's awesome. And those you can get at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I bet you, I bet you, I bet someone could, I bet someone's tried them before. Because you have to change them out after a while. I mean, they, they, they do get tired of being stabbed. Well, that's rude. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Stephanie, she's going for dinner. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, Bethany. Have a good time. You'll have to tell us tomorrow what you made good to eat. <laughs> she was cooking all her friends' favorites for her birthday. Aw. Wait, she was cooking for her birthday? She was cooking for her friend. All right, I got to figure this out. I'm just cleaning my glitter mess. I'll be, I'll fix the screens in just a moment. No worries. Are you on me? Yep. Okay. I'll pose for the camera. <laughs> Strike a pose. Strike a pose. This is my flower pose. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Much. This looks so awesome. What does? My glitter paper. Oh yes, it does. Did you go back to you yet, or are you still cleaning up? Um, I put it put it on all of us. Okay. Good. Hi, Sherry D. Oh, I bet I could, I could bet I could felt a Grogu. I have some green. I'm 
it's still getting a huge flower. I want this smaller. So I went shopping for tomato plants today. Yummy. Yeah, I thought I was getting some brought home last night, but he's like, oh no, I was just showing them to you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, you mentioned the price, so I thought you were picking some up, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> so I went to uh, I went and got some today. Cool. Yeah, I'm kind of late getting started on my gardening stuff. I was too busy. I've been too busy trying to catch up on cleaning up the outside. So I kind of mm -hmm. got distracted from getting the garden started. Shame on you. so many bookmarks with this sheet of paper <laughs> yeah you are <clears throat> oh i forgot to draw a name for my cards <laughs> i was supposed to do that today <laughs> yeah i was supposed to do that today that's what i do from the back Very nice. All right. Oh, let's see. Do I want to go with the good choice? Good middle? choice. Um, Jenin, she says we're all making um stuff for bookmarks. Um, uh -huh. Deborah is actually foiling some goodies for her bookmark. So that'll be super exciting when she gets that all done up. And uh, uh, Crystal is doing practicing ATC cards for Saturday's Hawk. Oh, yay. Sherry D's having chicken and cheese quesadillas. Thank you, Janine. She likes how my uh, my glitter paper is turning out. I like it too. So I actually did look at the screen this time. <laughs> Okay. Not making too big of a mess. That's a plus. That's always good. Maureen, hi and bye. I don't know if I said hello, but she's going to. Where did I? Oh. Dinner. Oh, she's going for dinner too. Nice. Okay, take this over the garbage. Because I didn't get dinner before I came on. Yep, mine is in the microwave, waiting for afterwards. Nice. I don't even know what we're having for dinner. I don't know what I'm having either. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> With this 
particular method of adding the glitter to the sticker paper, you can totally do all sorts of fun designs. Because you just peel back your paper, you can do big stripes, little stripes. You could cut this before you peel your backing and then you can just work on a small one too. If that makes sense. So instead of doing the whole big sheet, if I had to just cut it into the card panel size, could be doing smaller amounts. But that's okay. I'm, I'm not sad by it. Cherry B says she'll be right back. Jenin had leftover chicken and rice from last night. We don't ever really have leftovers here. We typically make just enough for dinner. <laughs> Unless it's spaghetti. We always have leftover spaghetti, which I do like fried spaghetti. That's good. My friend makes a, um, a baked spaghetti pie. Interesting. I wonder if it's like fried spaghetti. Well, we take leftover spaghetti, put a little bit of oil in the pan, and actually fry it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know about that. Pie she mixes spaghetti. hers with the sauce and stuff, whatever st stuff she made with it, and puts it all in a pot and a like a cake pan, like a type pan uh -huh. or a glass dish and then covers it with cheese and bakes it. That's crazy. I don't know about that. Cheese, cheese people. I know, right? This flower looks a little wonky. I gotta try to fix it. <clears throat> What are we doing on time? Oh, good, because the bookmark won't take long. <laughs> I know, right? It's the process to get there, and then once you get it, it's not going to take very long at all. Right. And that's what I was telling someone yesterday, that I, I'm not really trying to get into a bunch of hobbies. I'm just using things that, I've, that I already have, that I've collected forever, and are collected over the years and trying to use them up. Yeah. So all this wool, I can just use it, use it for things that will be useful, like making, you know, things, embellishments, embellishments for my journals or, you know, my planner and whatnot. Cause I mentioned also, I have, um, I have lamp working stuff to do lamp working. So at some point I want to do some of that, make some beads. Cause beads. I can make, yeah, I can make tassels. You can using just um, start recording yourself making all that fun stuff. <laughs> I tell you, I'll watch it. <laughs> spaghetti, spaghetti. And Sherry is back. That was super quick. Or I was slow on reading. You know how that goes. Lasgetti. Oh, Crystal makes a dish called Lasgetti. It's half between lasagna and spaghetti. Yeah, that does sound good. Okay. <laughs> now, pasta is pasta is good. So sometimes you get fibers that I don't, they, these didn't come in the wool. I'm sure my daughter got organic matter in the wool. <laughs> she used to sit outside and felt. Although this stuff is kind of full of lanolin. My hands feel lanolin-ish. So you can get out your aggression and also do a little self-care by uh, conditioning your skin <laughs> <laughs> by felting. <laughs> and you get a yeah. twofer. <laughs> and Ken Cole, hello you too. How are you doing today? 
Okay, so all right, what do we want on here? Map. I don't know if I want to go kind of debating. Do I go from green to blue or to silver? Green, blue, silver? Yeah. Oh, your next transition color, you mean? Yeah. Let's see. So you got, what is that? Is that gold that you have on there? The gold and yellow? Yeah, these are the yellow, yellow, orange, orange, right. gold, coppery, bronzy, or yeah, copper, bronze, and then dark green, light green, or medium green and light green. And then okay. I'm thinking a light blue, this blue, that blue, but that yeah. blue just doesn't look right. Ooh, that well, might you be got good. some light there. Oh, you might go. be able to add another dark one, like your bronze or medium. Yeah. So I think of this one. I think I'm going to go with these. Who knew I had this much room for all this glitter? <laughs> <laughs> Janine been on the phone trying to get some physical therapy. And later. Hi, Debbie J. Yes, all the TMs are here. I can't tell if they're being TMs tonight. I can't really pay attention a lot to the chat. The chat with Sassy Troublemaker Club. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. It's not my favorite, but it'll do. Ta da, bookmark. Oh, wow. Let me zoom in, you zoom in, you. You can tell them what you did did so i used the heidi swap mink reactive foil this is mint and then i used um first i used this the uh toner sheets the distressed lines it's toner sheets and then what was left over, I put on a full sheet, the full sheet of foil. I did that, which I'll use this in, on, in a later time, but I didn't want to waste it. And then, so I put that on there and then I laminated it with my laminator. I just have the scotch one. So it has only two settings for um, thickness of your laminator sheet. Yeah. But I, I, I just kept running it through and checking it, you know, to make sure that everything's going to go down. And even though this sheet did not come perfectly, I don't care. I love distress. Right. So that's that's my thing. And then I, you, I just took the front of my cover off here so that I could measure how far I want this to come up, this piece up here. Did you want it to stick out, of course. Yeah, that's the, the bookmarking part so we can find our place easier. Yeah. Right. And then I just chopped a bit off on the bottom. And then um, this was given to me. I have a Creative Memories um, corner rounder and just rounded my corners. Now I'm just thinking about, do I want to put um, like a sticker up here that says today or something? I don't know. Or just leave it the way it is. A sticker would be fun because then it, you know, a little extra bling. Yeah. In case I also you want to make more bookmarks too. You could add yeah. different tabs and bookmarks. Great. And I also have the... Um, 
my drawer. I also have the uh, Create 365 um, Happy Planner Stamp uh, Hole Puncher. Nice. And I needed both hands to and stand up to push through this. But it's corny. Right. That plastic gets a little thick. Yeah. You guys got those fancy planners. I'll have to look into one of those for next year. Well, I got the fancy planner because I wanted to work off of it. Right. I, I, this is 2020. Yeah. So I wanted to, like, I like the full, like the dividers on these. These are nice. Mm -hmm. That's what I yeah. look for to do. I like, I like them. They seem good. All and, the ones I like, and I like these. They came with it, of course. Switch them up. And then uh, they usually have extra paper. And what I like about these two is that you can use your, you can flip the covers. So that could be my front instead of this. Right, That's the, awesome. right that one. Ooh, flip it over. Okay, we are going to switch views. <laughs> so, but the last part of my, um, I did put the silver on the end. I love it. But I just let the glitter just shake all over there because, you know, I've got several of these sticker sheets that, you know, I need to find use for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a glitter cleanup. Glitter cleanup. Glitter cleanup. Instead How of does that not smishing, surprise me? we're gonna <laughs> do some glitter cleanup with a whole nother sheet. We're just gonna coat, pick it all up. Just pick it all up, and whatever happens, happens. actually cleaning up really good. Push that in there. Ooh, look at that. Let's put some glue back in there. I wonder if it would hold this chunky stuff. Like And then I have this piece left over. Now, if you want to, you could also make like this one could be like a bigger uh, bookmark so that it would come out to over here. So you would have, to, you could do both at the same time if you wanted. What was that? So if I wanted to make like another divider, that, but I want it to be like over here, I can make a bigger one. I have this left over. Gotcha. I can make a bigger one that comes over here. And not like basically like the file tabs, you know, like these things. Which I have that too. Bye, Ray.
thanks for hanging out. Hopefully we'll see you again. Oops. Zoom out, Elizabeth. Okay, I will when I come back. Sorry. Okay. Debbie J did a cute planner uh, video this morning using a southern sticker pad. Had some cute peaches in it. Cool. Yeah. So this is technically your planner Monday, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> we are working on the planners. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys. Yeah. I don't recommend the chunky glitter for this process, but um, I still think it looks pretty cool. I gotta do one more cleanup. <laughs> yes, it was today, Debra. I mean, Debbie J. Wrong Debbie. Thank you, Pam. All right, this one's a little wonky looking. It might not stay on a planner long, but <laughs> a book I mean. <laughs> so I wanted to show you something I did with my planner without showing you like all the business, my my business. <laughs> what? No one else you don't want to share your business with us? Picking no, out no one else's business. <laughs> So Tim Holt has stamps and I don't know if I'm in view. And I took the stamp and I stamped on my, my planner, all the pages. I did that for, let's see, February, match oh, the color. And then uh, these, I cut out all the letters, all the numbers and glued them all down. I did it myself. It got bulky. It got bulky. <laughs> but it's not that bad. Yeah. And then I have, what did I do for, for May? I did the same thing. Same colors for May. And then I did it for the rest of the papers too like through the whole month and this one here I don't know if you can see very well but I stamped a, um, an ink like a quill calligraphy pen oh, okay. on top of it this one is red numbers match too oh that's nice just a nice little splash of something oh, in there yeah. to create some that's interest that's awesome yeah, and you can still write on top of it. Yeah. I like to be artsy. All right. Don't we? Well, this is as far as I'm going to go on my flower. Just saying. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. Oh, it's cute, though. Thanks. So I'm going to move all this wool oh. and I'm going to move on to the bookmark. So away goes my Tim Holtz thing. Here is my planner. It's little. It's little. This book belongs to me. Has a little pocket and it's just kind of um it's very um what do you call it compact i put all my little thingies in here i'll have to i still haven't taken pictures debbie j to post in the group yet i will so that's that that was my april 
Now we're to May. And we're to here. So here's my problem. There's a place in the front that has all my, like, your main info. Yeah. And I, I had this here, and it worked great to take me to where I needed to be from, from here when I didn't have many pages. But now, as my pages are getting further down in my planner... So we're on to this week, which I haven't really decorated, decorated yet. Yeah. My little clip doesn't fit. It's only so wide, you know? Right. And I need a band. I need something that's going to hold my book. You need like a little belly band or something? Yes, exactly. So I have tons of ribbon. And I thought, why not put a ribbon around it? But the problem was, it's, if I put a ribbon on, it's not going to expand when I need to, to come to the back of my planner because of the, you know. Right. So some talented person that I saw on Pinterest used a rubber band. And oh, there you go. Hair clip so that it has stretch room and it will work on the front page and it will work on the last page because it will expand. That's awesome. So <clears throat> I saw it sewn with a button, which you could do. And I have plenty of buttons. And I looked through buttons last night, I think, or the night before to decide what I wanted for buttons. And you can just take the button and loop it. Loop it around the button. That's really clever. But I like the snaps because then I can take it, you know, I can, I mean, I can take it off with the button too, but I feel like the snap is more durable. But for those that don't have snaps. Right. That's and just have buttons. Idea for a button. Right. I have crafty buttons. Yeah, definitely buttons. Yeah, so I'm just going to kind of measure it out for my first page. So then I know it will just slip around my first page. I can I got pull it a little off. wild with the glitter towards the end. So. I'll, I'll fix the TV in just a minute. The TV. <laughs> I'll fix it in just a minute, you guys. I got to clean. I had a little glitter malfunction here. So I have this little snappy contraption. Someone gave it to me. They ordered it on Amazon, and it wasn't exactly what they thought. And I said, oh, I know what that is. I'll, 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 I'll take it, sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So I now have, yeah, a button maker and a ton of snaps. <laughs> cool. So, yeah. Fix that. Put this back on there. Okay. So, well, here, let me zoom me because I got my glitter sheets all done. Yay. Yeah. Okay. So. We wound up with two cleanup sheets of glitter, and then um, our our main. This is the one I was working on. So, yeah, that's beautiful. I love it. I lost my comments. I'm like, where's everybody at? <laughs> okay. Um. Velcro. Oh, Jim, that's a good idea too. Velcro. Velcro. Yeah. I just have a bag full of snaps that I want to use up. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and <again>. then <laughs> Cordelia says you could glue a decorative button yes. on the top of the snap. Yes, I could. And I have. Okay, there you get your snap and a button. 
Excellent. Yeah, excellent. And I have some really pretty. I went through the button box and I have so many buttons. I have some decorative ones and I have just the plain colored ones. But that's the reason, Cordelia, that I made this felty flower so that I can put it over my snap. <laughs> okay, so here is my planner. And there, oh, that's going to be too short. Oh, hot dog. So my bookmarks can be basically long and skinny. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to cut these lengthwise. So I'm going to need mama chopper. But before I do that, I need to make sure. See, I was right in doing I cut, I die cut some silhouette images, some birdies and some leaves and things. So that's what I'm thinking of. But let me, we know this is going to be fabulous. Let's get out the rainbowy ish one. I oh, did. thank you, Crystal. Magnets would work too, Debbie J. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Here are these jumbo paper clips I was talking to you about. Those are huge. Ah, uh, they are huge. Uh, I love them. <laughs> and <laughs> who likes purple? Not me. Me. It's my favorite color. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll have to send you some of these. Um, this is as big as of a paper clip I have. <laughs> Regular size, normal. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have, I guess, unless this is normal, then these are jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> and you just got the extra jumbo. <laughs> okay, so I can, I'll, I can, and anyone else in the chat likes purple and would like some of these? I Did have... Go ahead. Um, Debbie J says she also has those jumbo paper clips. I know. Um, I think Crystal I... says she likes light blue. Blue is my color. You're not getting those, girl. They're mine. <laughs> That's okay. the reason I bought them. <laughs> I wanted blue. Okay, so Jim says, how are you going to apply your stickers to create your bookmarks? So this is the sticky part of the sticker, which is no longer sticky. And then this is supposedly the printer side. I'm just going to um, back this with another sheet of paper, a decorative paper. And um, yeah, I'm just going to... I think glue these down, they should stick if I give them some time. And then once I laminate it, it won't matter anyways, because it'll just be in there. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this piece here because I wanna make a normal size bookmark too. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, so we're gonna get our chop chop out. So I like this, but I can, I can, I can, uh, I might make, I might make a blue one for my regular planner. Actually, Something more blue. No, we're gonna do this first. Okay. That lined up in there. Arm up. And we're going to put this here, like so. And then we're going to put 
I'm going to do right here. Okay. Get some glue. <sighs> um, Crystal is asking where you got your jumbo. I really don't know. I've had these for years. Um, Target. It says Target Canada on the back. That must have been when they were leaving because they went in as fast as they went out. Really? Yeah. There, and there it is. But um, bum She made her little belly band. Spotlight you. There it is. Okay, so that's going to go like that, like so. And then we're going to get some double stick tape because this is slimy. I don't think a piece of paper will stick to that if I glued it down. And <sighs> so now I can put this back on here. We have Target here in a couple of cities. Bye, Debbie J. See you tomorrow night. Thanks, Jim. Maybe I should make some with felted palm trees. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'd be more tropical with this one on here. I that. Either way, it makes it fun looking. It makes me want to pick it up, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where that one went? That's a good one. Oh yeah, Gloria, your eyes still blurry from earlier today? Could be a starfish. Dawn, that looks very beachy. I like it a lot, Jim says. It does. It looks so very beachy. And Debbie J left. Bye, Debbie J. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I know. I'm like the last one going here because I was having way too much fun making a mess with all the glitter. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm just going to slide this in here and trim up all of my sides and whatnot. 
get that a little bit straighten everything out yeah you had to wait for us so we we're fine to wait for you on your channel ah <laughs> oh, gloria maybe after a sleep gloria it will be better like morning Where's that gloria had an eye doctor appointment today um Yes, Jim. That's the idea. I want to be able to make a bunch of different things and be able to swap stuff out. I want everything to be just swappable. So I went looking for more for hair bands. And I could only find these black ones, but I don't really like them because they're super thick. I'd rather have the thinner ones. And I'd like to have a pack that come in different colors. Well, that was a hot mess. And then I can make a ton of different ribbons, you know, for. Hey, Wickabella. And make different toppers. I thought it doesn't just have to be these felted toppers either. You know, I can use other things. I could slip my tatted piece under here. Didn't we try that out last night? It looked pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, this paper is like, okay. I'm not wanting to chop, but that's okay. We have scissors, we'll make it work. Dollar store for what? What did I say? Over oh, toppers for the thing. I love tatting. That'll be good and Oh yeah, there we go. So bookmarks are fun because you got two sides you can decorate. That's right. Unless you make one like mine. I can only, I only have one side. <laughs> but I can make different wraps, see? I can do one with the purple with the snaps and change it. Yep. <clears throat> I thought they would be fun if I do some more um, little mini albums or when I get my junk journal put together. Oh yeah. I can use them in my junk journal. That would be really good too. Oh, for the hair bands, gotcha. Yeah, I looked, these ones came from a family dollar, but I think they were only a dollar. Not much more than a dollar, but I want the skinny ones. And I have a ton of rubber bands, so I was wondering if I took rubber bands, I could kill two birds with one stone and use up some yarn <laughs> and, like, crochet around the elastic. <laughs> well, just remember that over time, those elastic rubber bands do kind of disintegrate. Yeah, they yeah. dry up and break. Right. But that's why everything's disposable and I can reuse, you know. Right. I mean, interchange things. Oh, and you know what? These make great bands too. The, the headbands. Yeah, 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 yeah. These nice make great. Thing. Yeah. These make great bands too. If you get ones that aren't, this one's gotten overused. Okay, why do I have like course I have gooey goo stuff where I don't need it. Okay, so I'm just cleaning off any loose little glitters. Whoop. So that when I go to laminate, it will be mostly good. 
So then we grab our laminator sheet. Turn on the minky poo. I bought these, the, this pack of laminator sheets is all Debbie J's fault from oh. last year. Yeah, last year she made a shaker um, divider for her planner. And I was like, I wanna do that. So I bought these laminator sheets and then never even did, never even opened them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're open now. <laughs> So hopefully we will do some fun. Hey, Jen. I had a migraine starting earlier. I had to really battle it off. It was left over from last night. I hope it feel better. So I pulled a piece of parchment so that we can go and laminate this. Oh, okay. Let's put you back in the box. How about this? Get back in there. Okay. Okay. We'll be done in hot. As soon as this goes through the laminator thingy. So we're. Hey, I'm one. getting caught up from last night. Huh? Getting caught up from last night. Just finishing off. I'm keeping myself occupied. Uh, Deborah, Jim asked if you have any news on your owl project. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, now that you bring that up, I was thinking about the owl the other day. I was trying to, I'll just get it and then explain it. Okay. So you see how I've got parts of the wings here, right? I was trying to figure out like if I paper cut out gears and I wanna try and stick them in here. So if that was one, like this is one gear and when I put it on here and try and make it like it's 3D, I guess. It's That's going beautiful. In the grooves and out of the grooves. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So. I'm going to try and see if it'll work or not. But yeah, this is what it looks like right now. That's it. And I still have to, I'm going to put stuff here too, like washi tape or tissue paper or something like that. Yeah. So these are those two tatted um, glitter flowers. I think I showed you guys last night. See, I could hook those on too. Layer them up. Move your hand over so I can see. <laughs> okay, okay. Poking at it. <laughs> I'm wondering how it would look without the, I could just do it without the white also. Or I have gold buttons. Ooh, it's a little gold rose. The possibilities are endless. Right? Yeah, and that's kind of what I was looking for. Because the toppers, you know, I it doesn't matter. I mean, I can use them anywhere. I can make, this is what I was tatting the little flowers for. Because I wanted to use them with the little buttons. And I, I can use them in my junk journals. I just want to use up some junk. <laughs> Oh, 
Deborah, Jim said, I wonder how the Tim Holtz wax would work on your project. I didn't even think about it. Oh, Never even thought about it. it. Something to experiment. Or, 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 or I could do the gears and the wax on top, maybe. Oh, yeah. There you go. Maybe try a little on the back of your owl to see how it's going to look. Get a kind of the gist of it. Yeah. Just want to fill my laminator page so I don't have any waste. You want some lace? No, I said no waste. Oh, no waste. Yeah. Hmm. So I want that Did to I... stay put. I'm going to use some heat safe tape and see if that'll work. I forgot to fold it over. My bad. I might try some of these with buttons, matching buttons on some of the ribbons. I have some cute buttons. This one's purple and yellow. It'll look cute with this purple lace. Purple polka dot and lace. Okay. So if you're doing a laminator through your mink, I just put it in a parchment sandwich. So in case any of the glue leaks out. And I set mine to a four. I don't know how hot it needs to be, honestly. Could be. I got some nice centers to my flowers. I like this green. I have a really neat pink looking one too. Yeah, I could do a button next time. Let me try this. Yeah, maybe latch it. I have some leather ones that I like. Good night, Cordelia. Uh, is that a dinosaur, Elizabeth? No, they're they're birds. They're little little birds. Good night, Cordelia. Although dinosaurs would be super cute. It's almost done, you guys. It's rolling out. The longest ever bookmark. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I think number four on my laminator was too much. Or the paper was too thick, but that's okay. Why? What happened? Um, it didn't seal all the way and it made a bubble. So I'm not sure if it was just too thick. Can you poke it with a pen? Put it back through? Um, I was going to say put a piece of cardstock in when you're putting it through to keep it flatter. Well, it's already super thick if I do that. Um, yeah, this one did. I wonder if it's just um, this one went through okay, but I didn't have the extra stuff on the back. So I'm wondering if that was just. Oh, yeah, Jim, I could do a whole band of buttons. That would be neat. I love these ideas people give us. I know. I could do a whole rainbow. Heat safe tape through there worked nicely. Kept that nice and closed.
make that like a little charmy thingy. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's just too thick. Um, if I were to do this again, I would use the thinner, thinner paper because this white is like an 80 pound. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's part of my problem is I just had it too thick. But if I flatten it and then run it through again, maybe. Oh, I got some thunder out there, you guys. It sounds so cool. I, I, that's weird. I have thunder too. I mean, like it just came up. It just thundered and I was thinking, oh, that's why I'm, I'm muted because... It jumped Can I to me. To learn? Popcorn in the show. <laughs> oh, I and love, then Jim is wondering if you ever finished the undersea picture piece. He's calling you out, Deborah. <laughs> you know the lantern that you did, Deborah, from the ocean. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I did so. Did you get? Did you do them both to match her? I think she said she was keeping one original. Oh, she yeah. Was. Nice. Yeah, just one original. That's it. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that turned out beautiful. And you can still put a light in there, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I actually think this is meant for a candle. I'll show you. Oh, that is stunner. Look oh, yeah. You could put a little battery operated tea light right in that. Yeah. Or oh, I got Tim Holtz lights. There you go. So I made sure that this could still open when I did it. And it's metal, it. right? It's metal, Deborah? Yeah. Oh, I'd have yeah. incense burning in that. See, it's got a <laughs> Right? <laughs> Put a little cone incense in there and have it smoke out. That's oh, right. Good. Nooks in the crannies. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. Pretty neat, though. I, I like do that. now, see? I have a lotus that I, a lotus that I uh, burned on my cones. That's awesome. Yeah, I love my incense. This one's a back burner. Have you seen those, Elizabeth? Uh -uh, hold on a sec. The back burners that have the holes in the bottom. And the the incense, the smoke rolls out the bottom. Well, I can't see anything. It's not in school. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So it's got holes in the bottom underneath the, the lotus on the lily pad. And it's it the smoke will roll out underneath oh, it. Oh, how cool. No, I'd never even heard of that. Yeah, they're so, pretty cool. Well, I I learned something today that glitter paper is really fun to make but you need to make your bookmark thin before you laminate it yeah, <laughs> yeah. so um it's a learning lesson i'm not sad by it you guys this is what happens you try something it doesn't work but then you know what you need to do next time i'm going to cut my silhouette images out of a thinner paper so it keeps it nice and thin and then I honestly think I had my mink too hot. So I'm thinking a three would have done just fine. But uh, yeah, so I think it's going to be cute when I get it right the next time. But I like this. And, you know, it's not a complete waste. If it didn't work out, you can take take it apart nope not there we don't want that apart get this cut close to the edge 
because then the glittery piece will be um, laminated down, but we could separate it from the other piece of paper. And I can make it something else. So the inside's not wasted. See that? And then the bubble's gone. <laughs> Look at me getting crafty again. This is a good way if you just need to laminate the front of something. Um, you can laminate two things at once and then cut them really close to the edge. So that glitter is laminated in there. so pretty. So is, you, is yours the, the size of the book or did you, did you cut it like I did to the size that you wanted? Um, no, this, this one, um, because I had cut this already, I wasn't thinking of that. This is just like a regular bookmark that I can just drop in one of my books. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, this one is not um, to size because I wasn't thinking that when I was cutting my material. So this one's short, but it doesn't mean I can't like stick it in there. And when I close the book, you know. Is it raining where you are, Elizabeth? See, it'll stick out. You can just like a regular bookmark, but uh, yeah. I'm going to use that for something else. Um, oddly, no. I don't think so. No? But I hear the thunder. I've Looks got, like it's yeah. going to downpour. Yeah, that's what it just, I heard the thunder and now it's downpouring. So I'm waiting for that loud rumble that's going to jump me off my seat again actually elizabeth you could still use it you could put like um um like a clip yeah. on the back of it yeah and i can even do um you know different things like i love it do you have a punch yeah i've got all sorts of punches I mean, a punch for your planner, like a mushroom punch. Yeah, I have, I have the, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, just, just you can slip it in upwards so it slips up. out the top. You know oh, what I mean? You true. Just, yeah. yeah, you just move it up. And uh, yeah, they're saying, but now the glitter will sneak out the sides because that's what glitter does. Um, I don't know. It's, I don't think so. Not unless you pry it open. But oh, that's hopefully, saying that. That's because she has a phobia. <laughs> but um, but you know, this is only because I made a mistake. I made it too fat, and so when it went through the laminator, it um it did some weird stuff. But if you were to do this, say like if I were gonna make this for somebody, I would definitely make sure everything was a lot thinner, run it through, and you wouldn't have that issue and it would be a proper bookmark. But this one is just gonna stay here. It's gonna remind me, hey, don't make them too thick. So yeah. So when I go, cause remember I didn't use the whole piece. So I still have a good section of this, which, you know, this one, I will make the full sheet and laminate. And it will be gorgeous. Well, I'm going to cut it in half, I think. I'm going to cut this in half and add some birds and stuff. But thinner birds. I just need to cut them thinner. So we have a lesson learned. Don't use the thick, thick paper. Use thinner paper. Um, make sure your sandwich is doing good. But yeah, I like it. I love it. And 
we're I'm worried about that glitter. I love it. Eat sleep craft repeat. Yep. Oh, that's going on. I have that saying wrote down. I just wrote down that saying for my stickers. And I went through and I fussy cut all of the rectangle stickers. So my prototype stickers will wind up in little, um, the cards that I was giving away the other day, they're still sitting here waiting um, for me to get money to mail them out. <laughs> but yeah. So some of these prototype stickers are gonna go out in the mail. I like to live by that mantra too. <laughs> A great mantra to live by. To eat, sleep. Yeah. Repeat. Craft, repeat. Uh huh. Yep. Well, listen. If you contemplate sending one my way, I want the sassy one. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you two are the only ones that know about the sassy ones so far. Okay, I want a sassy one. I want a true sassy sticker <laughs> yeah i i've got um i've got some sticker ideas that are gonna be extra sassy guys so <laughs> not kid friendly at all but uh all right uh, i have that sense of humor so the the sassy she it's coming out it's gonna come out on those stickers nice and then it'll be like collect them all <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> And there we go. We just um, clean closed up that side right there. So no stickers, no glitter is going to escape. No escaping glitters. Actually, no I like this. You need to make one about glitter for Pam, Jim says. Yeah, she has her own. She Because she told me <laughs> glitter is from the devil, but this being the prototype, it's missing the PJB stamper. So the next the actual ones actually have the PJB stamper. That's going to be right on there. But yeah, that that is hers. That's hers. Glitter is from the devil. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yep. She'll, she's going to get the prototype and the original so that everybody knows. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Can you hear my brain? No. Uh -uh. Okay. Yeah. There it is. The eat, sleep, craft, repeat. Because <laughs> I'm going to be famous or infamous Sunday. That's right. Oh, no, that's just like the one I just used. I don't want that one. Put some green back here. Are you making magnets? Are you interested in magnets? <laughs> I don't know how hard that would be, right? Like, here's the sticker. They make magnet sheets for the printer, right? Well, I mean, how well would that stick, though? They do. I mean, they, they're white. They're white on the front. But how they would you cut the magnet sheet? Scissors. You know, it's that thin, like, paper magnet that goes on the refrigerator, like business cards, like people give it the florist i don't know you get those business card looking magnets so i just peel my stickers stick it on okay let's let's go choppity chop chop thanks jim <laughs> you can buy the magnet sheets with white paper already on it like that go through your printer oh i see i so okay but if you just put your sticker on it and then yep. choppity chop chop. That works too. You'd have to weigh it out to see what was, you know, most cost effective. Yeah. 
And then if I just trim them all, it's, I think this would be easier to trim if the sticker wasn't already trimmed, you know? Do you have a cutting knife in your Cricut? Well, yeah. So when you put I it don't in your Cricut. I don't think it would cut this though. You have that to have a specific cut. knife. Oh, a deep blade, right? Yeah. For like leather. But yeah, if we want a good, oh man, such a dork. I did it backwards, you guys. Oh, Jim said that he thinks that there's a cricket magnet. I just did mine backwards. What do you mean? You took the sticky off the wrong side? Well, because I put my sticker to the magnet. Oh, look at that. Oh, I see. On the wrong side of the magnet. Gotcha. Yeah, I should have should have peeled the backing and stuck my sticker to that. Now that's not going to peel up. <laughs> hey, Dana, Dana, how are you? Here's my Tim Holtz goodness. Working on all of my stamps, putting new labels and new color dots, four to go. Cool. I love my love, my brother label machine. It's awesome. I want one of those. <clears throat> I have the old fashioned style ones. Do you remember the old Dyla? I have, I have that too. I, 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 I was not getting rid of it. I had to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's vintage now. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, that was a fun project. I'm going to do some more. Yeah, sorry. I got sidetracked. It's Jim's fault. He okay. said magnet, and I'm like, wait, I got stuff. How hard would this be? Oh, no, I don't. Yeah. Hey, worth a shot while you're thinking of it. Opens the door to the next possibility. Yeah. Okay. What do I got? That's. <laughs> magnet. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, um, I think. Um, Put that on your refrigerator. So yeah, you see it every day. Um, definitely what I would do is put the whole sticker down and then do the fussy cutting. That way there, when I go to cut, there won't be like <laughs> my, my jaggedy, my jaggedy jaggedness. Did you say you printed that on your Cricut though? Uh, no. Well, you can't print through your Cricut. I, I printed mean, through my Oh, printer. you cut it. Oh, yeah, duh. You cut it through your Cricut. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Because it cuts really easy through all the layers. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. He would cut right through all <laughs> Dee of the says send it to her. <laughs> uh -huh. Dee, did you hurt hurt your arm? Get surgery or something? I think. I think I read she had her hand in a cast. I guess everyone is getting hurt. Yeah, I know. 
Apparently it is a competition. Ooh, that's a good idea, Jim. I Sublimation. Know. Sublimation magnets. Let's check Amazon out. Uh, uh. Sublimation magnet blanks. Yeah, they have rectangles and circles. Um, and business card size. But I like the fussy cut shape. I don't know what you guys, um, if it was, I like it. if I pre-bought the sublimation magnets, they would be like square or rectangle. Whereas this is more of a fussy cut. Oh my gosh, I love that. <clears throat> I do too. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate it. It's a good way I could do like limited because right now I don't even have to buy the stuff because I have magnet stuff from um, die cuts and stuff that show up. So, yeah. Sorry, D. Hopefully, you heal fast. So yeah, I like that idea, Jim. Thanks. Yeah, that's a great idea. Now she Magnets has a tear cool. in her bicep. How? Yeah, I was right. That that scared me. I got I got kind of shook up when I read that because <laughs> of my arm. I hope that's not what I have. <laughs> So, yeah, see, they won't stick on the other side. Bring them to the crop. <laughs> oh, stamp away. Are you going to stamp away, Jim? He's closer than I am, I think. That's why I don't leave my recliner. I don't want to risk a fall. <laughs> oh, Pam. <laughs> Jeez, Pam. I don't know. You I don't know how she's gonna make it to uh pick up those uh cupcakes that I bring from Ryan's bakery. Right. <laughs> I'm cupcakes. I'm taking the Amish donuts. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get, tomorrow is a big mailing day because, well, no, not tomorrow, Wednesday, I get to go to the post office, excited about that, finally get to mail all this stuff. Sorry, guys, I'm looking for something. I'm looking, I'm looking before I forget and go off. Where is it? Ah. Oh, you guys, I'm panicking. Oh, really, Gay? Oh. Well, I've been in physical therapy for the last six weeks on my for my shoulder, and they're not sure if it's frozen shoulder or rotator cuff issue. I don't know. Hey, you're welcome, Pam. Thanks for coming. 
come come back again. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. See, I got your your little bubble mailer here. I put oh. it in your your sticker, Ms. Pam. And then when I get the other one printed, I'll put that in there. Well, thank goodness. If you bring the Rolo pretzel treats, I'll finally be able to have one because either I find the Rolos and forget the pretzels or I find the pretzels and I can't find Rolos. Oh, no. <laughs> DDN, I hope you get better soon too. Get back to crafting. All righty. Well, I think... <laughs> I I've taken up a lot of your guys' time. Sidetrack, squirrel. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun to have the same theme, but everybody did something so different, which was really awesome. Yeah. And like I said, um, if you make a boo boo, don't panic. You can always adjust it. I think I'm going to add some more washi tape to fill in the back and close off the edges. And I'll one mistake is going to make me two bookmarks. So, yeah, I'm not sad. I'm not sad. And then I'll be making a couple of um, my prototypes into magnets and whatnot. And yeah, so thank you for that idea, Jim. I really do appreciate it. Pam has two bags of Rolos in the freezer. She is a good woman, I'm telling you. Yes. I don't, I don't care what Elizabeth says about you, Pam. What? <laughs> <laughs> you're terrible <laughs> she's jesting because i have nothing <laughs> they oh my gosh you should oh uh, my face just went all shades of red i can feel it like <laughs> thanks a lot you brat <laughs> <laughs> just kidding but I, I haven't used that joke in a while <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Sorry. What? Listen, Pam called me a troublemaker for a reason. <laughs> my my cheekbones, they're like, oh my God, what just happened? <laughs> All right, my friends. Well, I do right. thank you so much, Deborah and Dawn for joining me today yes. and making some fun bookmarks for our planners, our books, whatever you need a bookmark for. That's right. um, they're great gifts too. So, you know, if you know a reader that needs a bookmark, send them out easy to mail because they're nice and flat. Well, <laughs> not Dawn's. <laughs> Blushy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so... <laughs> And you can tuck things behind mine. I like that. Awesome. All righty. Well, thank you, ladies. And thank you, all of my lovely chatters who gave great tips and questions and all the advice and all the fun stuff. We appreciate it. And we will see you next time. We'll probably be in a Debbie J's chat tomorrow at 530 on her channel. And then I will be back Wednesday doing some paper crafty stuff. So. Thank you again and have a good night.